Hi, I'm going to show you how to get the subplans from your download assigned to your students. So you're going to open up the PDF that says subplans overview and then inside that PDF you can scroll through and look through each day's contents and you can see what's included as far as subjects and skills and activities. Um, so you can go through and see which day of the subplans you want to assign to your students, or if you want to load all of these as drafts into your Google Classroom so they're ready to go, however you want to do it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and assign day four. So I'm just gonna click right here on this little link, and it's gonna have you make a copy. So you have your own copy, and you can edit and tweak however you want. So we're gonna click make a copy, Okay, so now I have my copy, and on the first slide, you can see there's a schedule. So you can go ahead and adjust the schedule for whatever is your classroom schedule. All of these clock images are movable. There are a whole bunch more on the side of other times in case you don't want something to start right at eight. There's an 8.30 and so forth. Okay, and then the text here, you can type in and change the time, and then you can also type in here and change um, the description. You could add in links for a Zoom. Maybe they're doing a Zoom with another teacher or a Zoom with a sub. You can add in links right there um, for your Zooms or Google Meets, okay? And then the next slide has kind of the, today, the agenda for the day for the students to look at. So you can type a note from the teacher right here. Hi, um, sorry to be gone, you know, make sure you complete your work, your sub is great, blah, 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 okay? You can type the date right here. And then the rest of this, if you want to leave it, um, you can. The rest of this is totally good to go. If you wanna change anything, you can. All of this is editable as well. Let's say maybe you don't do art, maybe you have a specialist do art. So you just type in here, like, you know, art with the specialist, etc. okay? And then on all of these subject slides, you can change directions. So if there's something you wanna add, maybe you wanna add a digital worksheet to this um, math section, you can just type in and add the directions and then you can come in here and you can add a slide just by going up here to this little drop down and then you can pick a new slide. You could do a blank one and then add in another worksheet or another um, link to like iReady or whatever you use to practice math facts, etc. Um, if you don't like the videos that are included, this is an embedded YouTube video. I know some schools don't allow YouTube, so there is a safe YouTube link right here as well. If you wanna delete that and add your own video or a different video, maybe from your math program or something, you're welcome to do that. It is good to go, but you can edit and adjust as you need. Okay, and there are some digital manipulatives. You could swap those out for other ones if you wanted to. Then we have, you know, the digital centers and activities here. Maybe your students aren't very good at typing, so you wanna delete this slide, you can just click on it over here on the side and just push delete on your keyboard and it will be gone. And then they won't have to worry about typing those in. Okay, um, same thing with any of these, you can edit uh, the subjects if you wanna add a spelling list. So you could add a spelling list, maybe you have a picture of a spelling list, like a screenshot. You could just come up here to insert image, upload from your computer, and you could add your spelling list on here. Um, or you could add a new slide like I showed you before and add your new your spelling list on another slide So it's right there ready to go for them to complete the activity. Okay, or maybe you don't do spelling this year um, You can just delete this whole section Just click on it and then hold down shift and click all three and then delete all three. Okay um, Then we have reading more videos more activities if you want to swap this out for a different activity delete it, switch it out, um, and so forth, okay? If you wanna add on any of these, if you wanna add some audio, if you have a lot of kids who are gonna struggle reading directions, you could add little audio clips, record them on your device, and then add them and just insert audio, and then they could have a little audio recording to click and play on this one. Um, and so on, okay? So lots of good stuff. If you wanna add more directions as far as like funk, um, tech tips and stuff, we added a couple, like this is how you add a photo, but maybe your students aren't ready for that. You could just delete that slide 
or if you want them to do something else, um, like if you want them to add a video of them explaining something, you can add more directions anytime. You can insert a text box, add type, type more directions, add it to anything, okay? Super easy to edit and adjust for your students, okay? So now when you're ready to assign it to your class, you're gonna go up here to the share button and you need to change the sharing settings because right now it's private only to you. So you're gonna change the link, switch it to anyone with the link, or if your district has a rule about anyone within district, whatever it is supposed to be for your district. Copy the link, okay? Um, and then that link, if you're gonna share this out with students over email, they don't have Google Classroom, you just take that link and delete everything up to the last backslash and type copy instead. Then you're gonna copy this whole link, whoops, copy this whole link, and then share that out through email or Canvas or whatever else that what other way you have of sharing Google Slides. Students will need a Google account to be able to do this. So you can't share it if they don't, if they don't have Google accounts, they won't be able to do it. Just a disclaimer there. Okay, if you are using Google Classroom, you still want to make sure you do the share settings, but you don't need to copy the link. You can just push done. And then you're gonna go into Google Classroom. Okay, so here's my Google Classroom and I'm on the Classwork tab. Okay, and then you're gonna just create an assignment right here, and I already started a draft, so I'm just gonna open that one up. Um, and then inside your assignment, you can type some directions, whatever you want, and then you're gonna add and attach from Google Drive, and then it should show up as the last thing if you were just barely on it. Okay, or you can obviously search. I'm gonna attach this and insert it. Okay, then right here you want to make sure that you click make a copy for each student. So they each have their own because there are a lot of interactive pieces for them to complete. Okay, and then you can go over here and change the due date, obviously. If you want to schedule these as drafts, which I highly recommend for emergency sub plans, just load all this into Google Classroom and then go up here to the um, drop down and click save draft and then it's saved as a draft, and when you have your emergency or you get sick or whatever it is, then you just publish it, and it's ready to go, and all in there, loaded, one click, here we go, okay? So I'm just gonna save it as a draft. If you're ready to assign it right then, then you could click assign, okay? And then right here, when you're ready to assign it, um, you're just gonna go in here and edit it again real quick, and then just click assign and you'll just say assign and then you could change the due date too okay and then they'll see your students will see it pop up and it will be ready to go and they'll be able to when students see come to their classwork tab however you have yours organized okay then they can click on the assignment and they can click view assignment okay and when students click view assignment they'll see this screen Okay, and when they're done and they're ready to turn it in, um, then they can turn it in on the instructions. And there's a little box over here on the side that says turn in, they can leave a comment, etc. Okay, so that's how you're gonna get your emergency sub plans to your students. If you want to give it to a sub, okay? So if you wanna give it also to the sub, then you'll go through that same process of sharing the link and then you'll just go ahead and copy this link, okay? And I would recommend giving your sub the force copy link again up here, um, just so you know it's not changing anything on the copy that, you're, that you shared in your Google Classroom or with your students. So they have the exact same thing if they happen to change um, something accidentally, okay? So you can email that to the sub or however you share information with the sub and say, hey, these are the plans for today. This is what the students are gonna be working on and other directions and notes that you have. So it's really, really nice and it will help save you tons of time of assembling and gathering all of this material for your students and it's ready to go for them. So if you have any questions or need some help, you can email customer service at luckylittlelearners.com and we're always happy to help you and hope you have a good year.